What's up guys, Todd Kelly, Shoe Swap Outdoors. Today we're having a look inside my tackle bag. So for the last few years, we've been using these SIM soft-sided tackle bags. Really like these bags. They're well-built, heavy-duty YKK zippers. Uh, they have rubber coating on the bottom, so if you put it down on the bottom of your boat or into water, they're not gonna absorb a bunch through the bottom. A uh, ton of organization in them, really well-built. Uh, we actually liked them so much, we picked up a second one. So this first one here is set up for big lake fishing off downriggers. Uh, fishing the big lakes in the interior of British Columbia. The second bag we have set up is for fishing the small lakes, targeting stock rainbows and kokanee and that type of stuff. So it's nice having two bags. So it depends where we're going out for the day, we grab the bag that we need. So when we go through the bag here, we'll start on the outside, work our way in. First pocket, survival blanket, toothpaste, toothbrush, wet wipes, that type of stuff. Uh, when you're spending long days on the water or if you're camping, traveling, uh, it's nice having that type of stuff in your bag. Next pocket here, we do a bunch of fly fishing on the bigger lakes in the springtime because the fish are targeting uh, smaller bait fish. So we got a ton of streamers here and a bunch of different colors. Next, Havilon knife. This is their bigger version. So if you want to clean your fish or do filleting, nice having a big sharp blade here. Uh, these Havilon knives are fantastic. If you haven't checked them out, check them out because uh, they're really sharp, really convenient, and they're lightweight. On my boat, we use Islander MR3 mooching reels. Uh, so we got a maintenance kit here from Islander just in case we ever have any problems. Uh, if you haven't, check Islander out. They're fantastic reels made here in British Columbia. Super fun to fish with. They're not just for Olsen fishing. Uh, if you're fishing the big lakes in the interior, um, they are a blast to use. Next thing in here, we got some spare bucktails in a bunch of different colors and sizes. These are Lux flies out of the Kootenays. Uh, the best bucktails going, really well made, the best color combinations out there. Uh, definitely check them out. Last thing we have in here is a scale if you want to see what your catch weighs. And actually on the little tether here, pair of scissors and a stone for touching up hooks or the knife if we need to. On this side, fishing license, a waterproof pen in a Ziploc bag. Here in British Columbia, some of the lakes we fish, we need to record our catch. So that's why I have the waterproof pen. Next pocket, uh, we do target kokanee sometimes while we're out on the bigger lakes. So we have some kokanee style lures here, some apexes, some um, squids, some wedding bands, that type of thing. Around the back here, a pair of pliers for pinching barbs. A wrench uh, for the downrigger. A pair of side cutters for cutting hooks if we need to. In these zipper pockets, it's fishing line for making leaders, so a bunch of different pound tests. I'm not super particular on what brand I use for mono. It seems these days all mono is fairly decent. So in this one, we just got some different monos. On the last side here, just some more kokanee style, small fish style lures, some more wedding band, apexes, squids. That type of thing. It's nice having them pre-tied on these uh, little boards here. So in the main pocket, I've got four Plano tackle boxes. These are the vented style ones. 
Uh, really nice, they allow your lures to dry on the inside so your hooks don't rust. So the first one we got here, bucktails, bunch of different colors. These are all the Lux bucktails. Some of them have these weighted heads on them, which we run in the springtime, or if you want to uh, get your lure down a little bit. Next box, plugs. Big fish like plugs. So we got a bunch of plugs here, mostly four inch. Uh, you do need a bunch of different variety of colors of plugs, so another box here. Uh, these are Fishinator lures that are actually made here in the shoe swap. Uh, their wood plugs work really well. They have great action on them. Uh, really love these things. Uh, they catch a lot of big fish. And the last box I have here is spoons, swivels, clasps, that type of thing, kind of maintenance things for building rigs up. A bunch of different colors and combination of spoons. We have a bunch of Lure Jensen uh, spoons here. Some bigger ones for lake trout. Um, once again, a bunch of just variety of colors because the fish can be picky on what they're gonna hit. Couple of flashers rigged up for the uh, downrigger ball. These are dummy flashers just to attract the fish in to see what's going on. For lake trout, sometimes we'll use dodgers. So I've got a couple of big dodgers here. Sometimes we'll also get into doing some uh, Chinook fishing, uh, about lake trout and bull trout. Um, and even rainbows will hit these squids here. So sometimes we'll rig up these squids to use. So I got a bunch of different varieties in the bag here. Uh, the plastic on these things melts other lures, like it dissolves. So that's why I got them separated here. Uh, sometimes if you have them pre-tied over time, the hard plastic beads that you use, um, the plastic will almost melt into each other and you won't be able to separate them. So that's why I have them separated here in the bags. Last pocket, hooks. I got a bunch of replacement hooks. These are the Mustad open eye sidewash hooks. I really love these hooks. Super sharp, uh, heavy duty, a bunch of different sizes. I put them on everything. So we got two aught, four aught, size one, size four, size four aught. Size, yeah, a bunch of different sizes here. These go on plugs, spoons, and the hoochies, everything we use. I really love these hooks, so I've got a bunch of them for swapping stuff out. Anyways, that's it, nothing too fancy. Uh, any, if you have any questions, comments, please throw that on down below. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're into more of these gear review, fishing, hunting style videos, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching.